Hey guys, welcome back. So, this is going to be the first part of I honestly don't know how many parts, but I'm excited because I just bought my third Rizzuto Estaledo Milano. And yes, it is in pretty bad condition. But, as bad as it may seem, I have all the parts for it to complete it. So, before we start uh, showing you progress on it, I opened it up just right now and uh, we are going to take a look at how bad it is. <laughs> so this one was my first, this was my second, we're going to look at the third here. And there it is. It did come with an extra knife. Put that aside. Look at this. It's missing this bolster. It's missing the safety. At least it does open. And look how scratched up the blade is. We're going to fix that as well. Right now it's in poor condition. <laughs> very sad, very poor, very... I don't know how to explain it. I mean, you guys are seeing this right now. At least it has its bail, its original bail. The first ones um, had the bail uh, really nice. So there you go. Let's see. This is my second one. As you can see, the bail on this has a lot of ornate, decorative. Uh, engravings or stampings into the steel or tin or whatever the hell this is <laughs> okay and then uh, this one over here so as we uh, continue with actually restoring this one I will do extra parts uh, showing how I'm taking it apart what I'm going to do to it how I'm going to fix it and so forth so with that being said this one here is from what I just see right off the bat compared to these other ones sorry it's Move these around here for here like this. Is that these you can see the pins holding the scales on. This particular one does not have that. That particular one uh, has the, the flares. I don't know if I can actually show you. I'm pretty sure I can. It shows right here. Um, this is what I would call a flare, as in it's like the actual steel that's here is folded upwards and outwards, and that would clip over the bake light that you would see right here. And that's what keeps the plastic or the bake light onto the steel right there versus having a pin holding it on so and you can see another one right here and the one in the back over there so all that is still there yes I can um, um, how do I say this I can um,
I can put the pins on if I wanted to or I can leave it with the flares. Um, I'm going to go back and forth if I'm going to actually put deer antler or bone or some type of other scales versus the originals because I do have the originals but uh, the originals that I have have the pin holes which would be again like this pin holes right there so I really don't know how I'm going to uh, figure out if I want the pins or the leave it this way either way that'll be it for this video just to show you how and what condition I got this Rizzuto in so one more time you can see it peaks and it locks up but again it's just because of this right here it needs to be tightened down it needs to be fixed up straightened up but uh, overall pretty cool love this okay so if we were to tighten this <laughs> you can hear the neighbor's cat over there <laughs> all right guys well that's it just wanted to show you that real quick and there it goes locked up all right talk to you guys later bye